A former lawmaker is pushing for a boycott against uh, garment products coming from China. Victor Cusari will tell us why. Former Paranaque Representative Roy Logales believes that an ordinary Filipino can contribute in the fight against China's encroachment in the West Philippine Sea. In line with this, Goles is encouraging Filipinos to boycott garment products from China as a sign of protest. Goles explained that it is easy to boycott garment products because we could get it from other sources. Garments, you textile, go as a China, assemble, go as a China, labor China, it is 100% a boycott natin dun. Goles emphasized that by patronizing Chinese products, we are also contributing in strengthening their forces. The former Director General of the National Security Council also said that government cannot impose the boycott campaign on its people because the Philippines is a signatory to trade agreements with other nations. But as private individuals, we can exercise this form of protest to the bullying activities of China in the region. It may not hurt the entire Chinese economy, but it's going to hurt the garments industry and it's going to hurt some garments uh, manufacturers. The public, however, has a divided opinion on the matter. Kami naman po ang mahirapan dahil kung ikumpara sa China, mas mura kasi ang produkto nila. E kung ipalitan ng ibang product, mas mataas pa ano pa namin mabibinta. Kawawa dito, yung mga produkto natin, imbis na bibilhin natin yung produkto, produkto natin dito sa Pilipinas, Eh, ang binibili natin yung sa kanila na mas maganda naman yung quality ng sa atin na dito sa Pilipinas po. Meanwhile, a law professor who is an expert on international dispute resolution believes that the Philippines has a high percentage of winning its case against China in the international tribunal. Attorney Rodel Taton said the nine dash line of China has no basis at all. On the part of the Philippines, we have the we have established rights we have established our our uh, legal stand based on evidence based on our uh, our uh, treaty obligations and we have the world to back us up in the event that the philippines gets a favorable decision but china would not honor the ruling it will have a negative impact on them this will will be creating a an impact on the these countries to be wary about their relations with China na pwede sabihin nila na hindi pala ito maka, mapagkakatiwalaan ng China as res, in respect to its treaty obligations pwede pala hindi niya tupa rin yung kanyang mga pinag-agreehan uh, sa isang treaty or treaty obligation so baka hindi na kami makipag-usap sa kanila on this regard The arbitration tribunal will start hearing the case in July and will tackle on jurisdiction issues in the West Philippine Sea. Victor Cosare reporting for Y News.